Hello, this is model number 562, three-phase transmission line fault detection over IoT. First, we will see the hardware part of this project. Step-down transformer, this is for the R line, Y line and a B line. That is R phase, Y phase and a B phase. Voltage regulatory circuitry, Arduino, LCD, ULN2003 relay driver IC. These are the relays. This is Wi-Fi model. Eight, uh, ESP8266 and here we are using the switches to create a fault and these switches are used to create the fault in line to ground and these switches are used to create the fault in line to line that is R line to Y line, Y line to B line and B line to R line and here there is a three wires to create a open line fault and here we are using the fire sensor means if there is any fire in the transmission line it will cut off the power now we will see how this project works now as you can see here there is no any fault is created so all the three bulbs are glowing and it is showing connecting to wi-fi now it is connected to wi-fi it is checking line to ground fault I am creating the fault 10, 20 and 30. So all the three bulbs are off. So means it I have created the fault in R line, Y line and a B line. So for uh, the, all the three bulbs are off. Means uh, there is a fault in the R line, Y line and a B line. This data will be uploading on the IoT. So it is showing uploading. It is showing uploading the, the whatever the fault is created will be uploaded on the iot page the next it will check for the line to line fault <coughs> it is uploading on the iot <coughs> now it will check for the line to line fault all the three bulbs are glowing now, I will create a fault in R to Y 10, Y to B 20 and R to B 30. So, all the three bulbs are off and that data will be uploading on the IoT page. Whatever the faults are created will be uploaded on the IoT page. First I have created for the line to ground. Afterwards I have created the fault in line to line. That is R line to Y line, Y line to B line. Next we will see for the open line fault. That data is uploading on the IoT. Now we will see for uh, all the three bulbs will glow because Yes, there is no fault now. I will create a fault. I will create a fault. The data is uploading. We will wait for a two minutes until the data is uploading. <clears throat> it is uploading. Now we will create a open line fault. Now I have created the R open line. So it is off and showing R open line fault. Now I will correct it. Next I will generate a Y open line fault. So Y bulb is also off. I will correct it. Now I will create a B open fault. So that bulb is off and it is on the LCD, it is showing B open line fault. I have corrected, so all the three bulbs are glowing. Now, we will see for the fire. It is whatever the faults are created will be uploading on the IoT. We will wait until the data is uploading. Now, it is uploading on the IoT page.
next we will see for the fire means if there is any fire in the transmission line it will cut off the power means all the three bulbs will be off that time now we will see for the fire as you can see here as soon as it detects the fire all the three bulbs will be off means it will cut off the power in the transmission line thank you see the faults here it is r2 ground as we can here we can see r2 ground 0 r2 ground 10 like that it will show the faults in the iot page r2 ground 20 that is the the time and date will also be displayed here friday march 11 2022 here y2 ground that is 30 like that it will display all the uh, all the faults here like that b2 g 40 here it is 20 here it is 0 here it is 30 like that all the faults will be uploaded on the iot page that is, this is for the r line to y line r line to uh, y line that is 10 km here it is 10 like that the fault will be displayed on the iot page here it is showing 20 20 like this again b line to r line like this we, the whatever the fault will be created that will be uploaded on the iot page thank you